Firstly, we will see how to get a ServiceNow instance. So you have to visit this website that is called developer.servicenow.com. Once you reach this website, you will see a page like this. And if you are not already signed in, then you have to click this button that is called sign up and start buildings. Once we click on this, then the page will be redirected to a form. You have to fill your details here. So we are going to fill it very quickly. First name, last name, email, country, India, password, and you have to follow the policy of password. This is the policy, password policy. So we will type it. So our password is done. Now we are going to see and one of the most important thing is that when you were typing the password you see all these check marks are checked means your password is correct. It is passing all the criteria of a password policy. Next we are going to and at the last we have to accept the conditions then sign up. That's it. The page is reloading and it will be loading. Okay, so here is a message. A ServiceNow ID has been created for you. This application requires you to verify your emails. Please check your email for a link to verify your account. After verification, you can log in into this application. So we have logged in into our Gmail account and now we can see here that we have a ServiceNow mail and we have to click on verify email once we click on verify email now it is saying okay now you can log in we are going to log in once we logged in okay now it's going to ask our email id again now you have to write the same email id that you have used to sign up we're going to write that. Write the password. Okay, now it's going to ask you some questions. So it's asking, do you code? So you have to answer it accordingly. If yes, then click on yes. If no, then click on no. So here in case, yes. What best describe your job responsibilities? This is optional. If you wanted to answer it, you can answer it. Otherwise you can leave and just select this checkbox. But for right now, we are going to just for everything, click and finish setup. All right, now we have finished our setup and our instance is ready. Now what we can do is that click on this start building button. So it says a message, we are processing your request. This will only take a few minutes, a few seconds, and we are going to click it. And whenever you see an error like this, you you seen the arrow it will always open in a new tab see that page is remain here and it's a new page opening here and you're going to see many times in service now also that in the instance you will see that arrow and if you see that arrow it means that particular thing is going to be open in a new tab okay all right Now this is going to just give you instruction how to use it. Pin or unpin your menus to maximize your working space. Next, see everything available in one place. Okay, all right. We can add favorites. Okay, all right. Next, okay, got it. 
so you are logged in in the service now instance and this is your instance whenever you logged in you will see the code here your personal instance have a code so this is your code for this instance but once you logged in once you sign up you will see a different code okay so this is how uh, you are going to get a service now instance and if you find any difficulty in getting a service now instance then write your queries in the comment section and we'll try to help you as soon as possible now what will be the next step after you get a service now instance so you have to watch this video that is called next step after you get a service now instance okay until then subscribe the channel like the video share the videos to others and thanks for watching the video bye bye